So when I read teacher, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. How are you? You're muted, Francisco. When are you, teacher? Hello? Juan Ricardo, can you say something? Uh, yes. yes. No los escucho. Yo no le, usted le escucha, pero yo no le escucho a usted. Normita, where are the earphones? Hello. Francisco. Hola, ¿usted sí me escucha? Yes, yes. Ok, thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Moises. Good 
Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. I hear you now. Okay. Thank you, thank you. All right, good. I was worried already because of the audio. Okay. So so you okay. I hear you now. I can hear you now. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back to the back. Back to the back. What time is it? Hey, Tai. Hey. Two. Eight oh two. Eight oh two. Eight oh two. Yes, eight oh two. Eight oh two. Okay. All right. Welcome back. Thank you for being punctual, Francisco, Juan Ricardo, Moises, Ruben, Noemi. Andrea, Delmi, Kenya, Helen, and Alex, welcome back. Thank you for being punctual. What's today's date? What's today's date? Wednesday. Wednesday. How do you spell Wednesday? How do w, you spell uh -huh, W? W E. D N E S D A Y. Excellent. Wednesday. What month? Is it capital W or lowercase? Capital. Capital. Very good. What's the month? Capital. March. Yes, it's capital. March. March. How do March. you spell March? M A R E March. Y. M A R C H. Very C -H. good. Capital M or lowercase? Capital M. Capital M. Very good. And what's the date? 23rd. Date? 23rd. Very good. What year? 2022. 2022. Very good. Today is Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. All right, let's begin. Welcome back. Thank you for being punctual. Um, let's talk about the topics we covered uh, yesterday. What topics did we talk? We did we cover yesterday? Mm -hmm. The simple past. The simple present. Simple present. What function? Mm -hmm. What function? Function. Um, Usual. Okay. No. Okay, no. but but the activity we did yesterday, we used the simple present. Give me a second. Okay. Adverb of frequency. Very good. We discuss adverse of frequency. What's the function of adverse of frequency? What's the function? Mm, to prepare the schedule? Yeah, to prepare schedules. Yes. Schedule. To prepare fixed schedules. Yes. That is true. Anything else? Anything else, people? Any questions, any comments? Andrea? No. No? no? Okay, no. so let's begin. Give me a second. Good evening. God bless you all. Very good. Okay, so... Uh, Let's begin. Our first activity for today is related with speaking. It's related with writing and speaking. Okay. Uh, we are on page 25. 
page 25. Can you see this here? Can you see my book? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. What's in the picture? Can you give me a description about the picture? How many people are there? Two people in an office. Okay, two people in an office. How do you know it's an office? Library. Library or bookshelf? Bookshelf. Yes. A clock. A clock. Very good. What is below the clock? Lefoy. What is it? Lefoy. What do you mean? What Lefoy? Okay, what Blackboard. is Blackboard? Blackboard. Okay. Blackboard. Blackboard. Below below the clock. What is below the clock? Uh-huh. Blackboard. Uh, that's a bulletin board. Mm -hmm. That's a bulletin board. Yes. So there are two people, maybe in a library. There is a bookshelf. There is a clock. And that is a bulletin board. What is the function of bulletin board? Paste papers. Okay, to paste papers. Yes, with different type of information. Okay, uh, does the woman have long hair or short hair? Short, short hair. Short hair. The woman, the woman has short hair? The woman. Does the woman have long hair or long short hair? hair? Long, long hair. hair. Long hair. Long hair. Long, long hair. What does she have here? Si está cerca del televisor, please silence your microphone. Okay. Um, how do you say cola de macho in English? Anybody? Y apúntelo que esto lo ocupamos mucho en El Salvador. Ese es un ponytail. Ponytail. What's the meaning of pony? What's a pony? Caballito. Yeah, it's a horse. Exactly. It's a horse. A little horse. A little horse. They are very expensive too. They're very expensive. Okay. How do you say candado in English? Goti. Goti. Very Goti. good. Very good. Y vaya grabándose también eso, porque tarde temprano usted va a estar dando la descripción de alguien y ese alguien pueda que tenga un candado. So goti. Very good. What is really goti? Right now, give me a second. Gold tea. Right there, gold tea. Thank you. I, I, I don't remember if it's one T or double T. Let me check. I guess it's one E. Okay. Have you checked in the internet? Let me see this here. Oh, yeah, one T, one T. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, would you repeat, please? Um, what spelling? Uh, the ponytail or goatee? Lo que está debajo del reloj. Oh, a, a bulletin board. Right now. Bulletin board. Y librera, ¿cómo dijimos librera en inglés? Bookstore. Bookshelf. 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 Ahorita se los pongo. Gracias. Bookshelf. Bookshelf, right there. Maybe you have a bookshelf in your office. Maybe you have a bookshelf in your house. Maybe. Okay. Okay, questions about the picture, people? 
No? Okay, so look at the first two questions. It says, who interviews future employees in your company? List five activities you do in a regular day. Who interviews future employees in your company? Who does it? Who does it? ¿Qué le están preguntando ahí? ¿Quién entrevista a futuros empleados en la compañía? Exactly. Who does it? ¿Quién entrevista a los futuros empleados en su compañía? Human resources. Human resources. Human. Very good. Human resources. Okay. It says list five activities you do in a regular day. List five activities you do in a regular day. Entonces, everybody here comes from different companies, different positions, different departments. But everybody has responsibilities. Everybody, without exception. So, list five things you do in a regular day. Escriba cinco actividades que usted hace en un día regular en su trabajo. Let's go. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm doing okay, thank you. Okay. Right now, we're doing exercise one on page 25. Five activities you do in a regular day. Cinco actividades que usted hace en un día regular. Got it? Mm, Got it. Sin ser oh. necesariamente laborales. Eh, de preferencia que sean laborales, pero si la si quiere mezclar, Puede mezclar dos del trabajo y tres uh, personales. Perfecto. All right. 25 page. Page 25, yes. Okay, here we go. Thanks. Good.
Three more minutes. Three more minutes. Solo en el chat, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, when you're ready, you put them in the chat. Yes. Okay, listo. Good. En el Zoom chat, Zoom chat. Okay, let's check the exercises. Check my mail, make calls to providers, make purchase requests. Very good. Reply email, work meetings, make reports, meet stuff, organize agenda. Very good. See, monitoring of work plans, meetings with strategic partners, field visit review, elaboration of attention statistics, and document signing. Very good. Uh, check and answer emails. Uh -huh. Talk to my boss, check the prices, check due dates, order the products, check the inventory. Very good. Answer many phone calls of clients in my office. Submit invoices to accounting. Check and reply emails. Do reports for my boss. I post invoices. I get calls from suppliers. I attend work meetings. Very good. Drive around many cities of paracentral zone. Very good. Review meeting schedules, review daily sales invoice, check email, make payments to suppliers. Very good. Prepare breakfast for my son, take him to school. When I enter the drugstore, I review pending activities. I deliver the day's orders to delivery partners and I send mail every day to my superiors. Very good. I call for help to bank agent. I attend questions of my boss from central office. I finish the budget. 
I finished a letter for international cooperation. I call my son who lives in San Salvador. Very good. I support my coworkers in the system used by the company. I check computer problems. I create report for different areas. Check and send emails. Very good. Make a purchase report and send it to my boss. Very good. I take reports to the employees. I have a break. I have sent email. I have to see the machines that work good. Very good. Check my mail, make reports, receive bill payments, make inventories, and make calls to providers. Very good. Nice. Good job. Good job. Okay, take a shower, brush my teeth, check my email, talk to suppliers, provide technical support. Good. Write report production in the afternoon. I check email and answer. I check email and answer. I start industrial machine. I have a lunch at 11.30. Very good. Nice. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Any questions or comments, people? You're doing well, you're doing well. Okay, so let's, how do you say pasar lista in English? Take uh, attendance. Very good, take attendance. Now the question is, where is the list? Where's the list, my God, right here. I got the list right here. So when you hear your name, please say present. Okay. Let's see, uh, Rafael Barrientos. Present. Good. Iris Cañas. Present. Thank you. Uh, Reina Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Good. I'm working. Good. Uh, Carmen Come Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Vázquez. Present. Good. Ana Maricela de Amaya. Ana Maricela. No, okay. Uh, Alex Martinez. Present teacher. Good. Francisco Godinez. Present. Okay, lo voy a poner en silencio, que hay mucha bulla. Francisco Godinez. Here. Thank you. Delby Gómez. Tell me Present. Gomez. Thank you. Kenya Ruiz. Present. Thank you. Uh, Juan Delgado. Juan Delgado. William Pérez. Present teacher. William Pérez. Present. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Susana Jimenez. Susana. Jose Corea. Present. Good. Judy Cuellar. Judy, Judy. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Avendaño. Present. Uh-huh, I got you. Present. Carlos Avendaño. Present. Good. Elsa Merino. Present teacher. Good. Noemi Vasquez. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Lise de Paz, ya no está acá. Ruben Campos. Present teacher. Very good. 
Uh, Helen Barraza. Helen Barraza. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Moises Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good. And Maricela Velasquez. Okay, thank you very much. Did I miss anybody? Me salté a alguien? O alguien que acaba de llegar? Okay. Vamos a ver las últimas intervenciones que hicieron. Uh, okay, de ahí vamos con send emails to customers from 9 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Go to visit customers at hospitals in the afternoon. Make the daily billing report. Make collection calls to customers and make the work route of the day. Uh, no entiendo la número uno. Dice clean up the clean up the supervisor's area. Review protocol. Pack medicine and fill log. Okay, fill log. Okay, good. I don't completely understand one and five, but the two, three, and four are good. Okay, questions or comments about the five activities you do in your work, people? Mm -hmm. Digging, gardening, painting offices, or watering, mowing grass. Very good, 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 Juan Ricardo. All right, so very good, uh -huh. excellent. All right, so here we go with the with the conversation. It says, give me a second. This listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a part. How many people are there in the conversation? Two people. Two people. Two people. So pay attention. We have Celia and we have Marcus. Good morning, Marcus. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay. Um, give me a second. Okay, so I need one Celia and I need one Marcos. One Celia and one Marcos, okay? Your Celia and who is Marcos? Que empiece de medio Marcos. Okay, go ahead. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Sí. Marcos? Pretty ah, good. Sí, sí. Pretty good. I have finished. It is very strong continuity. Potential, potential employees. Poten potential employees. And they have I told to just part by some change. Changes, changes. Changes in the schedule. In the schedule. Mm -hmm. I see. I saw some people in the reception. When I came, I come. When I came. Yeah, I re do reschedule, reschedule. Reschedule song. Oh, done tomorrow. I need making. I saw my goal. I saw my minutes. I wish. Anyways, anyway. Anyway, anyway, how about you? 
use the usual checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I drop or day. I got inventory. Inventory. Why, inventory. I watch Janet. Janet's job. Janet's job. Okay, Janet's good. Job. Thank you. Any questions or comments about vocabulary or pronunciation? What is the pronunciation? Interviewing. 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 Yes, interviewing. Thank you. Thank you. Interviewing. Yes. Interview. Interviewing. What's the meaning of interviewing? Entrevista. Uh -huh. Exactly. Entrevistando. Y la primera vez que habla Marcos dice, pretty good. I just finished. ¿Qué significa just? Acaba de terminar. Exactly. Acabo de terminar. So when you want to talk about recent activities, it's necessary that you include the word just. Okay. So, ¿cómo va a decir? Te acabo de enviar la información. Ya sé. I just sent information. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ella se acaba de retirar. She just, she just, she just to go. left. 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 Or oh, she left. just went. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, thank you uh, for the volunteers that just read. So any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Peter me dijo que era I, I come, ¿verdad? When I came. I, when I came. 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 Ah. Yes, came. Okay, anybody else? Any other questions or comments? What is meaning? Reschedule. 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 Reprogramar. Dul. Al final es pronunciación dul. Schedule. 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 Yes, schedule. Dice, dice, y Rachel dul. Así se pronuncia. Reschedule. 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 Uh -huh. Reschedule. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? No? Okay, so now it's time. To work in. Yes? Reschedule. Okay, so. Le vuelvo a repetir. Si tiene ruido. Si tiene ruido alrededor suyo, television, radio, whatever, le vamos a agradecer que mantenga su micrófono en silencio, please. Porque molesta los oídos. Okay? So, this is the next activity. You guys will practice pronunciation. One person is going to be Celia. The other person is going to be Marcos. And after that, you have to answer the reading comprehension questions. So, la primera práctica va a ser para eh, practicar el, el um, pronunciation. Y el número tres, el pair work, es to apply reading comprehension. ¿De dónde va a responder las primeras dos uh, preguntas de la lectura que acabamos de hacer? Y la número tres, pues, ahí ya responde que según lo que hace usted en su lugar de trabajo. Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you for answering. Breakout rooms, 22 people, that's a good number. Son muy constantes ustedes, los felicito, los felicito. Okay, create. We're going to move this person to five. All right, let's practice pronunciation and reading comprehension. Let's go.
Juan Ricardo, José Coreas, Noemi Vázquez. Please go to your rooms. I'm gonna get some water, give me a second. Teacher. Thank you.
Hello, hello, you guys hey. finished? No teacher. No, teacher. Uh, yeah, no, okay, no. go ahead, go ahead. Teacher, how similar are the activities they do with this? Teteando dicen que el impersonal esté listo. Y el inventario, pero él le dice. Pero sí sería checking that the personal. What is it? Hi. Hi, teacher. Um, if they have all the equipment for a... Hello, hello. Hello, hello teacher. teacher. Disculpen que ya cuando, hasta cuando iba ya para afuera alcanzó a oír que me hablaron. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo han estado? How was your day? Pero había ignorado, pero no. <laughs> you having dinner, Carlos? Ya va. Yes. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. Thank you, teacher. Sorry, but. No, it's okay. It, it's okay. It's, it's necessary. No, um, I, I, yo tuve un problema ahí familiar que mi hermano se me puso bien mal, fíjese. Really? Problema del colon. Oh. Entonces, is, is he older or younger than you? Is younger. Okay. Almost 11 years different. Okay. He was my first child. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I treat him like like my first son. son. Okay, mm -hmm. I understand. I understand. Then Is I, he okay? When he felt bad. Okay. He felt sick. Okay. Is he at the house or is he at the hospital? No, eh, eh, lo iba a llevar al hospital donde un doctor, pero eh, gracias a Dios yo tengo medicamentos para problemas del colon. Usted es visitador Entonces, médico, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, tengo los conocimientos, sí, pero trabajo directamente en la venta. Pero ¿Venta de qué? Tengo, de, ¿De medicina? De medicamentos, exactamente. Oh, ok. Eso me valió porque yo tengo medicamentos específicos para el polo y nada le había quitado el dolor y todo el día hasta se fue del trabajo para la casa porque no se ocupaba y gracias a Dios con lo que yo le llevé pues me esperé ahí como una hora y algo y ya lo había sentado después cuando regresé y le me dijo sí yo sé lo que te doy le digo así ya lo dejé estable good lo, very estable. good tremendo that's that's nice that's nice sí, sí, sí así es que cuando necesiten algo Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Para problemas respiratorios, nosotros distribuimos todo lo que son aerosoles. Oh, ok. Good, Soluciones, good. todo eso. Ok, good, good. Thank you, Carlos. La orden. Ok, let me visit another classroom. Yes. <laughs> ah, we... we... <laughs> uh -huh. Ok. Sí, gusta de, de, usted. I have a question. Yes, what's the question, Iris? What is the difference between buy and purchase? Uh, they're the Pur same. They're the same. Buy, purchase, compras. O comprados. Buy and purchase, yes. Se puede utilizar cualquiera. They're synonyms, yes, they're synonyms. Yep. Okay. All right. Any anything else? No. 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 Okay. Very good. Hello. How are Hello. you? Very good, sir. I'm working. Okay. What time do you finish working? At 7 a.m. next day. What time do you start? Yo ahorita voy en camino. ¿Usted va qué dice? Eh, de camino al trabajo. Really? So you work graveyard too? You work night shift? Yes. What time do you start, Moises? Eh, 10, 10 o'clock. 
10 o'clock. And what time do you finish? Then I usually yeah, six o'clock. Okay, eight hours. Hey, hey, see. Yes. Okay, good. Any questions or comments about the about the exercise we're doing? No. For it. Okay. How Hello, are teacher. you? How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Como le va? Fine, okay. Did you finish the conversation and the questions in part three? I finished. Uh, we finished. Okay. Let me visit one more classroom and then we go to the main session. Okay, teacher. Of great. Entonces así la dejamos, verdad? Sí. Sí, my yeah. case, my case, no apply. Apply. Okay, I finished, teacher. Very good, very good. How was your day, ladies? How was your day today? Um, my day is normally very. How many hours do you work? I I I work eight hours. Eight hours. What about you, tell me? Mm. I work eight hours. Okay. Uh, para decirle también. I also work eight hours. Okay. I also work eight hours. Very good. Nice. Any questions about the activity? Um, no question. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. See you. All right. Mm. Let's check. We got a few people still coming. Let's give them a couple of more seconds. Thank you. Okay. Two people, uh, everybody's here. Okay, let me take attendance for the second time. I will mention only the names that were absent first one. Uh, Hmm. Susana Jimenez, are you here? Susana Jimenez. Okay, so she's absent again. And I think it was only Susana. Alguien ma oh, uh, Ana Mercedes Samaya. Are you here? Ana Mercedes. Okay. All right, so let's go to the next activity. This time, we are on page 26. This is, take a look at some common tasks for personnel at a restaurant. How different, how similar are with yours? Entonces, aquí están las, las responsabilidades. Okay, me lo voy a poner en mute. 
Aquí están las, las, uh, las responsabilidades que hace gente que trabaja en un restaurante. Le preguntan qué tan diferente o qué tan similar es con lo suyo. ¿Qué tiene que hacer? Make the head chef, meet the head chef to review the weekly menu. Talk to the staff about changes in the schedule. Call a marketing company about promotional souvenirs. Interview potential employees. Order the inventory and check the weekly schedule. Do we have any questions here? Alguna pregunta o comentario acerca de lo que acabo de leer. Dice reunirse con el encargado y con el principal chef para repasar el menú de la semana. Hablar con el personal acerca de cambios en el horario. Llamar a una compañía de mercadeo about souvenirs, acerca de souvenirs promocionales. A entrevistar potenciales empleados, ordenar el inventario en check the weekly schedule y revisar el horario semanal. Questions or comments? No questions, teacher. Ok. So, aquí vamos ya directamente a lo suyo. Como les decía, some of you guys, well, all of you guys come from different companies, different positions, different departments. So, aquí va a poner, write the task you do in your workplace. Aquí en donde dice your task, you're going to have to write five of your tasks. Cinco de sus uh, de responsabilidades que usted tiene en, en su trabajo. Cuando ya tenga esas cinco, lo voy a poner a trabajar en pareja y van a intercambiar con su compañero o compañera cuáles son las cosas que tienen a similares o diferentes. Are the instructions clear? Yes, yes sir. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Yo le mandé una, teacher. Estas son nuevas. New things. Ah, bye, bye. Good.
Any questions? Did you guys finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me create the pair word. Okay, let's practice your pronunciation in English. Let's go.
Nada, no, quizás estaba en un grupo reducido. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Any questions about the last activity? Any question? No questions? No questions. Oh, no questions. Okay, very good. Now it's time to do a little bit of writing. Let me show you the next uh, activity. I need a volunteer to read these instructions, please. Write a five line paragraph. Write a... Uh -huh. Go ahead. Yes, Moisés tiene la mano alzada. Okay. Okay, anybody. Okay. Write a fine line paragraph about the task your boss or colleague colleague does in your workplace. Very good. Thank you. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahí? ¿Alguien que me ayude a traducir? What are we doing there? Un párrafo de cinco líneas de las de las tareas del, de tu jefe o colegas que hacen en el lugar de trabajo. Very good. Thank you. Entonces, ¿por qué estamos escogiendo a otra persona? Sencillo. So you can practice the third person singular. Entonces, puede escoger a su jefe o a un compañero de, de trabajo para y hablar acerca de cinco cosas que él o ella deben hacer. Remember the rule of the third person singular. Ahí se los puse en el chat hace como dos días, creo. Entonces, cuando vaya a escribir, vaya verificando que eh, hace, uh, que hace matching con lo que yo les expliqué. ¿Estamos bien? ¿We okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher.
much there.
Ok, remember, cuando escribe sus oraciones, tienen que ir completas. So you can apply the third person singular. And when you finish, take a picture of your writing and you send it to my WhatsApp. My WhatsApp. Teacher, a uh, question, please. Yes, what's the question? The, the paragraph uh, we um, la vamos a enviar por, por el chat de, del WhatsApp. Me lo voy a enviar a mi número, no al chat, sino que a mi número. Uh, no es el del grupo. No, it's my individual number. Ah, ese no lo tengo. Es, ahora, es el mismo que en el, el que está en el, en, el, en el chat. Ahorita le digo. Ok, gracias. Ahí yo puse ok a las 9 y 19. Ese es mi número. Care. Can you find it? O, se, o, o les pongo el número aquí en el chat, permita. Ok, gracias. Sí. Sure. Thank you, thank you. Good, good.
Jalan Bia teacher. Thank you, thank you. Okay, 11 people have sent it. Once lo han enviado. Right. All right, two more minutes, people, two more minutes. All right, let's continue. Uh, we're going to do some reading activity. Volunteer to read the instructions, please. Can you see my book? Right, right. Okay, read the following schedule of a restaurant manager and write the time for each event. I need a volunteer to translate this, please. Uh -huh. Yes, Carlos Avendaño. Carlos, Carlos. Sorry, uh, I'm, I'm going to translate to Spanish. Yes, the instructions. Uh, the instruction. Lea las, las siguientes. ¿qué? Horario. El siguiente horario de un restaurante, del gerente de un restaurante y escriba el tiempo de cada evento. Ok, thank you very much. Como puede ver, está lleno de eventos y de diferentes horas. Entonces, this is what you will do. You will read the document, va a leer el documento, and your mission is to find out a qué hora sucede esto que está en color azul. 
check the temperature at the kitchen, turn on the lights and sound system, make the schedule for the second shift, open the back kitchen door, do inside work, and turn on the open sign. Okay, are the instructions clear, people? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please.
is done, teacher. Okay, one more minute, people, one more minute. True. I'm ready, really teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, check temperature at the kitchen. What time does that happen? <laughs> at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Go to the kitchen and check temperature. Or check temperatures. If temperatures are ready to eat foods and get samples to taste. Turn on the lights and sound systems. 10 and 10 a.m. 10, 10. 10, 10. 10, 10 a.m. Very good. 10 a.m. Okay, make the schedule for the second shift. For 10 p.m. For 10 p.m. For 10 p.m. For 10, make schedule for second shift. Servers and buzzers, kitchen head cook, candles, his team. Okay, uh, open the back kitchen door. 9.30 a.m. 9.30. 9.30. Open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. Uh, do inside work. 9.30 p.m. Okay, let me see. Yes. We start to do inside, no, side work. Side work? Side work. Yeah, inside work. Inside work. And turn on the open sign. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10, 10 55 p.m. No. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. No, hold well on. Turn the open sign off. 10 55 a.m. Yes, 10 55 a.m. You're right. 10 55 a.m. Open the front door and turn on the open sign. Very good. Any questions about this exercise, people? Yes. No? Good, very good. So do exercise one on page 28. Exercise one on page 28. Complete the sentences with the simple present form of verbs in parentheses. Let's go.
Okay, any questions or comments, people? ¿Quién se quedará hoy los minutos extras? Recuerde que eso va tomado en cuenta a la hora de asignar su nota final. Y mañana voy a hacer un double check de la gente que ya se quedó. Who's staying today? ¿Quién se va a quedar hoy? Uh -huh. ¿Alguien que no se haya quedado todavía? Eh, una pregunta, ¿por qué se quedaría? ¿Perdón? ¿Por qué se quedaría uno? Ah, para dar una, una tipo tutoría one on one. Y si usted tiene alguna pregunta, pues ahí lo, ahí lo aclaramos. ¿Usted no se ha quedado okay. nunca? No. Can you stay today? ¿Se puede quedar hoy? Just a couple of minutes. Ok. All right. So yeah. class, we're going to start right here. Lo vamos a tener acá. Everybody have a good night. And uh, we continue tomorrow. Same place, same time. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good, bye. good, good night. 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 See you. See ya. Yeah. All right, bye bye. Okay. okay, ¿quién se va a quedar hoy? No, no logré identificar el nombre. Yo. Moises. Okay. Sí. All right, give me a second. All right. So, Moises, how are you? Bye. So you are in your eh, work right now? Yes, eh, start, start work and evening shift. Yeah, yeah. Do you work uh, the night shift um, every day? Eh, rotative. Eh, today, tonight, eh, tomorrow until Saturday, eh, bueno, amanecer como esto, right? Uh, to start Saturday. To start Saturday. Uh -huh. okay. No, to start, no, to start Sunday. Okay, so, so you start Saturday night and you finish Sunday morning. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. How, how many years have you been in that company? In this company, I have one middle, one middle year. Half a year. Half six year. months. Six months. Uh, one year, six months. Okay. Uh, another work, uh, work is uh, 11 years. 11 years, that's a long time. What's the name of the previous company? Uh, same the quality control uh, uh, start in another another company the operari uh, later uh, I later pass uh, a learning quality control okay good very good and where do you live Moises what? Where do you live? In a single. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. And what is the location of your work? In this world, location is Apopa. Oh, okay. Apopa. What's the distance from your house to your work? Distance approximate five. Like, oh, not far, not far. No. Okay, good. Uh, 15 minutes. All right, good. Okay, do you have any questions about the topics we see in class? Uh, some words uh, that 
vocabulary. Uh, vocabulary as children so so the meaning. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Any questions or comments, uh, Moises? Hi. Any questions or comments? No. no. Okay. So thank you very much for these extra minutes. I'll be seeing you tomorrow night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.